Ab absolutely. When you think about um, drugs that are still in development against amyloid, there are numerous agents. And there are two general classes of these. One, we can block the deposition of amyloid or the abnormal processing on the front end side, or we can try to remove amyloid once it's been deposited abnormally in the brain. So on the input side, we're approaching the base enzyme. Now this is one of the enzymes that cleaves the amyloid precursor protein in an abnormal spot. So we can block that enzyme with base inhibitors. So if they are effective, that stops the accumulation of the abnormal protein. The other tack is to use, say, an antibody to remove the amyloid once it's been deposited in the brain or remove it in its formation phase, the soluble to insoluble forms, the aggregated forms early in the process. So we can take those two avenues of approach and there are still active programs on both ends. So most recently, the approaches that are um, anti-amyloid approaches have fallen into two bands for the most part. Those are the base inhibitors that are really kind of trying to turn down the spigot of amyloid, uh, toxic amyloid production. And then there's the sync approach of, with the antibodies of trying to take out the, uh, the plaques and also even, you know, uh, many monomers or oligomers and protofibrils. And unfortunately, as I mentioned, the number of programs, including aducanumab and crenizumab this year, have either read out or been reported to be negative or futile. Um, we're still waiting to see, actually, if there are signals, for example, in individuals where there was plaque removal to a certain level and whether there was any congruent um, uh, changes in, 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 in uh, cognition or clinical benefit, and that data has to still come through. Um, as far as the base inhibitors, which is the, the spigot approach, of the seven programs, five of them have um, either read out as futile or there have been small signals of a, a small, actually, detriment in cognitive function. But two of the programs um, are still ongoing. They have not read as um, negative. And so we're, we're, and we're waiting eagerly to see whether those programs can show a, a signal. Uh, either at the later stage, or some of these drugs are also in development and for earlier stages in secondary prevention of, uh, of Alzheimer's disease. People with risk or who already um, you know, show, show disease pathway but really don't have a, a tremendous amount of symptoms. That is still outstanding. Whether early enough some of these interventions can uh, modify a, uh, the trajectory. Certainly with the current readouts, um, it, it becomes a bit more pessimistic, but I don't think that that, that answer has been, uh, you know, uh, that answer has been found yet.